What's up guys, it's Lexi and I'm very excited to be sitting down for a video and just having a one shot take into the vlogs. It's almost back to school season which means I'm going to be making back to school videos. Sticking with summer because I, I still am in the summer mode and I want to talk about my recent summer favorites. Specifically a This Is Weird video which is my version of my favorites. I keep it categorized. Weird is an acronym. It stands for what I've been wearing, eating, impressed by, reading, downloading, and doing. I like this series. You guys like this series. I've got some good stuff. And then if you want to follow me on Instagram, then my Instagram is at Lexi. And that's my favorite social media. I love Instagram. Love the stories. Love the posts. Let's get started. W, what I've been wearing. My style has become very divided recently. I'm either going full on tomboy, Carhartt bucket hat, plaid pants, sneakers, oversized t-shirt, or full on girly. Reformation dress, ankle straps, stiletto heels hair and makeup done, long eyelashes, tons of eyeshadow. I've been really into eyeshadow and makeup recently. I used to be so into makeup and then I kind of gave it a rest. I've been looking at it in a different way recently. Much more like playing dress up as opposed to making me look necessarily more beautiful because I don't really think I look more beautiful if I have green right here or if I have like little stripes on my cheeks. I don't think I look like prettier. But I do think it's more fun and it's it's like adding an accessory. For makeup, these have been my absolute favorites this past summer. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I've probably mentioned this in at least 10 videos over the course of my lifetime on YouTube. It's so good. I think it's honestly worth every penny. I personally get a lot of my makeup at Sephora. Um, so I'm, I guess, used to the price range. But I really think this is worth every penny. It's so buildable and I think that's my favorite part about it. So if I have a really nice skin one day and I just want to even out my complexion, I can use a little bit of this and it looks really good. But then on days that I have a huge breakout, I know I can also rely on this for that too. And I can build it up and it can cover and it will still look really natural. Also they have such a wide shade range, which at this point in the game is essential. We can't have any more sort of like tart mistakes that were made. But Makeup Forever is an artistry brand, so they've always kind of had a ton of shades. But it's good for making sure you can find a shade for yourself all year round. This is a Red Earth product. I'll find it online. I'll link it down below. It's called the Secret Potion Illuminating Skin Fluid. And this is a liquid highlight. And I personally think it's amazing. I think the formula is really good. It's this iridescent pink and white kind of. So it applies like a little lotion and then you just blend it in. I showed this in my summer haul. Okay. And you can see that it's white but also pink and it's a little ma magenta too. I have a more olive complexion but this, my friend borrowed it who has a more pink complexion and looks look really good on her. I apply it to the top points of my cheeks and then on the bridge of my nose. I don't really mess around with the forehead or the chin area, I really just think here. Or I'll do it like directly on my cheeks so then when I smile they're like, my cheeks are just huge. I gotta figure out where they sell Red Earth. I think it's an Australian brand. Yeah, so these are my two favorite makeup items. And then clothes, so many clothes. But yeah, that's what I've been wearing. E, what I've been eating. What I'm drinking at the moment. I tried to give myself a little afternoon pick-me-up and make myself a uh, iced matcha latte. I've been eating such good food recently. I don't know why it's taken me this long to really take advantage of living in a city with some of the most amazing cuisine. Just in the past week alone, oh, I went to Jack's Life Frida, still got some leftovers in here. That's also American cuisine. Maybe a little bit of, mm, I'd say American. My mom and I went to Sauce the other night which is an Italian place, and if the weather's nice, sit outside. I love that in the summertime we get outdoor seating, and when the weather is formidable, you can sit out and enjoy your food, and also just like be on the street. Love it. We got the butternut squash tortellini, and the skirt steak salad with arugula, tomatoes, and parmesan. Guys, it's so good. Also went to Lucien, French food. If you have acquired taste buds, you will love it there. Their menu, ooh, mm, mm, mm. And there's so many restaurants. I think next time I film a weird video, I'm gonna give one restaurant recommendation and then give one recipe recommendation. I did go to Dean and Deluca yesterday and I stocked up on some tortellini. Also got myself some chili lime shrimp. So I'm gonna be eating good. I impressed by 
I have been incredibly impressed by the city of Charleston in South Carolina. I went there on a work trip, not really knowing much about Charleston. I was there for a social media convention called SMADCON, which thank you so much, Artie, for hosting that event and putting it on. And I think the first one went really well, and I would love to speak at the one next year. And uh, I had a really great time. I met a ton of good people, and it was it was a wonderful uh, experience. That and now, in addition to that, one of my childhood friends, I'm talking like him and his twin brother and I were like inseparable at age three. That kind of childhood friend ended up going to the Citadel, and he, or I guess he just graduated this past year. I was like, "Yo, I'm randomly in Charleston for a work trip," and he's like, "Wait, that's so crazy! I randomly have the day off. Give me 15 minutes." I'll shower and I can meet you downtown. So he came and he watched me speak on these panels and then we just ended up hanging out and I extended my trip like an extra four days and he had a convertible, we were driving all around, we went to the beach, he introduced me to his friends, we went downtown, we went dancing, we went drinking, we went to a crab shack and the people of Charleston are so friendly and I never thought of myself as someone really liking the South. It was such a wonderful time. My eye just twitched. Okay, R, reading, what I've been reading. Uh, this is a magazine, it's by Prevention, Essential Guide to Self-Care. And obviously, the self-care movement is in full force. We're seeing it on blogs, we're seeing it on YouTube, we're seeing it in magazines, at the checkout counter. And the thing about it, it's getting to the masses, everyone knows how important self-care is. The extent of the information, like the quality of the advice is so variant. So I picked this up, hopefully, you know, like I, I bought it with the intention that I would get some good advice out of it. And I swear, I just was looking through the pages and I'm like, duh, yes, obviously, of course. And I felt like the advice in here was just so common sense that it was stupid to even read it. And on the other side of that coin, I think generally when it comes to life, we know what we need to do. Sometimes we do need reminders, we might know it, but hearing someone tell us, it kind of revives the importance in our head. We're like, oh wow, I just, I haven't been sleeping that well recently. I know sleep is important, but I've kind of been neglecting it. Or giving people my quality time is important, but I've kind of neglected that. And this is a little bit like a workbook, right? And I was kind of in my head comparing it to, I don't know, like an addiction workbook that they would give you at a rehab or like an eating disorder recovery workbook. And the information or kind of like the point of it is the same, but the quality of the information is just very different. Like this is super dumbed down and I was just disappointed by it. I'm always disappointed when I'm like, no, the masses are smarter than this, right? Aren't we? Um, I know that I'm comparing it to like a treatment book, um, which obviously, you should expect higher quality care if you're going to a doctor. Um, but I guess my point of that was is like those workbooks, the graphic design is just like non-existent in them and it's all just information based. And like this, I feel like there's just no good information in it and they're just banking off of their graphic design. So I guess in my head, the reason I'm bringing it up for reading because normally I'll just like bring up a book recommendation. <laughs> but I just felt like I could bridge the gap. I'm studying graphic design in school so I was thinking in my head like, okay, here's a market. I could take these sort of, the information from these these workbooks that they give to patients who really do need some sort of like revamp in their self-care and the way that they live their life and treat themselves and bridge the gap between adding that kind of information with a more aesthetically pleasing cover. I don't know. But maybe you have this and maybe you've read this and maybe it helped you. And if it did, that's awesome. I just, I guess, was being a little bit picky. D, downloading. The last artist I've really been listening to consistently, or like at the moment, is Tiana Taylor, who I found out about her from that really hot dancing music video she did for Kanye West. However, she has an album of her own, and I really, really like the song Issues. I think it's, oh, I love it. I mean, it's definitely like a love-making style music, like the entire album is. Actually, another song I really like on the album is called, what is it, Hurry? Keep your eyes all on this bed. And that one sucks if I'm ever playing it in front of people that I don't know that well, or like, let's say an Uber driver or something, because there's just straight up sex moans in it. You're like, no, I just have to skip this part. Like, Or if I'm in the middle of something, I think it was playing when my mom was here, because I just moved into a new apartment, kind of a new background. I'll get to that in another video. But it came on and I was like, oh no, like my hands are full and I can't like 
skip past the moans. Also, the song Rose and Harlem is really good. The more than a little bit. I have it on my Spotify. Learned about a few new artists when I went to Firefly Music Festival. It's Tiana Taylor. She's my fave right now. And then D for what I've been doing. I made t-shirts. They say I like my mind more than my face. They're short sleeve. It's like scribble handwriting. And there's like a light pink, a light blue, a white, and a gray. Two fun colors and then two neutrals. I can link those down below. I like those. What else? I moved. I had a terrible living situation the month of July. I was like subleasing for a month in between rents. It seemed like during that month was the month that everybody was like, Yo, Lexi, like I want to come and stay with you. What's up? And I had... Six people stay with me. And I was already gone in LA for nine days. And I was in Charleston for seven. So I was gone for 16 days of the month. So I have six people stay with me. It was like all the time. I felt like I had guests all the time and I feel like I didn't sleep. Never had such bad insomnia. Um, really great memories though. Really happy everyone came. I'm complaining for no reason now because it's in the past. What else has been going on? I really am excited about this, like these white walls I have. I feel like I can use them to do more like editorial type shoots. I want to make some cool makeup looks for Instagram. I just posted a photo on Instagram like a couple days ago and it was me with like a little makeup look and I feel like the response on it was nice and I want to keep making things like that. I'm really getting back into makeup and clothes. I want to do more outfit posts. I want to do more makeup posts. The vlogs are going to be coming to an end. The summer is coming to an end and back to school season is starting. Pretty excited for it. I'm going to do like definitely a back to school haul, back to school supplies, outfits, home decor. What else? I don't know. If you have any requests, always welcome down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I think I don't know if my next video should be a Q&A sort of life update or if it should be a makeup look. I've been doing a ton of crazy eyeshadow looks. I also need to figure out the lighting situation because the lighting has definitely shifted a lot. Oh man, I haven't been looking in the camera that much. I'm sorry. I'm a little rusty, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.